Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question from entrance examination, x square equal to 4 to the x. And we need to find a x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. And in a few minutes we will check your answer. Just trust me, this is very interesting and in the same way, very tricky question. Well, how can we solve this question? First of all, we can easily get the root by inspection. It looks like that. x square, 4 to the x. Maybe we can, we can easily find, find this x, but it's not how, how it works. First of all, I suggest you this uh, this method. First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. Okay, let's do this. So we have natural log on the left side. So natural log of x square equal to natural log of 4, 4 to the power x. And right now I, I think that 99% know this property. Whenever we have, for example, natural log of 3 to the power 4, we can easily write this 4 in front of it. So we have 4 natural log, natural log 3. So we can easily write this 2 right here. We can easily write this 4, uh, we can easily write this x right here in front of this natural log, uh, natural log 4. But don't forget about this x because we have x squared. So x can be positive, x can be negative. So we need to put absolute value. So we have 2 times natural log absolute value x equal to x times natural log 4. Right now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna group our constant on the left on, or on the right side and our variables so our variables on the left side constant on the on the right side. For this let's divide both side by by 2. Okay when we divide both side by 2 as a result what do we have? 2 natural log absolute value x over 2 equal to x natural log of 4 divided by divided by 2. Really great. Right now we can easily cancel this from the from the left side and is is perfect. Right now let's divide both side by x. Okay, when we divide both side by x, we're gonna uh, we're gonna write this in our denominator right here. So everything will be great. So as a result, we have natural log absolute value x over x. But with this right side, because we have x in our numerator, we can easily cancel it. We will have x natural log four over 2 times this x because we divided by this x so we can easily cancel this from the right side so as a result we have expression that we really need uh, that i tell uh, that i told before because right now we have nature log absolute value x so we have our variables on the left side and our constant so nature log 4 over 2 on the on the right side so this is our first step we just uh, write our variables on the left side our constant on the on the right side and right now if we look closely at this question we have absolute value x so x can be positive x can be negative we don't know exactly uh, what what about x but first of all let's start with x is negative let's solve it for example first first of all let's solve when x is x is negative so when x is greater than zero we have this type of equation so we have natural log of x over x equal to natural log of 4 over over 2. Okay, right now let's look closely what do we have on the left side on the right side. I suggest you to learn a little bit about Lambert W function. I'm going to show you about this a few information about this function right now. This function looks like that. Whenever we have expression which looks like a times e to the power a, so whenever we apply Lambert W function to this expression, as a result we have only our a. Uh, for example, we have 6 times e to the power 6. Whenever we apply Lambert W function to this expression, we have only only 6. So we need to have the same expression right here, right here at this point, and we need to have we need to have e. Let's look closely at our expression because we don't have e, we don't have uh, the same expression. So right now let's try to create it. First of all, instead of this x, instead of this one x, I suggest you to write e to the power natural log x. Okay, so instead of x, let's write this one, e to the power natural log x. It changed nothing, this is absolutely the same thing. According to a log property, we can easily cancel this e natural log and as a result we have the same x. So let's do this right now. So we have natural log x over e to the power natural log x e to the power natural log x equal to nature log of four nature log four over two yeah so i really hope you you get this point right now you understand why i why i changed this x by e to the power natural log x because right now we have e in this general uh, general explanation we don't have a fraction so right now let's try to bring this e to the power natural log x from our denominator to our numerator but of course with the with the negative sign okay so as a result what do we have we have natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x minus natural log x equal to natural log 4 over 2. So right here what we did, we just bring this, uh, for example, when we have a, we can easily write it as 1 to the power a 
or to the power minus 1. OK, so we can easily write it with the negative sign in our denominator, but in our case, we just write it from our denominator to numerator, so we need to put minus sign. So we need to put a negative sign right here. OK, so what are we going to do next? Let's look closely what do we have at this moment. At this moment, we have the next thing. We have natural log x. It's really great. We have looks like the same natural log x, but it's not the same with the negative sign, so it's not the same thing, but cloth. Yeah, cloth thing. We have natural log x. We have minus natural log x. So everything is great. And we have e. So we have a really great expression for applying Lambert W function, but the last tricky move is to multiply both sides by minus 1. Okay, when we multiply it, we will have minus nature log x and minus nature log x right here. So we have the same, the same expression. So we have minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to equal to minus nature log 4 over over 2. So we just multiplied both sides by uh, by minus 1. And as a result, minus right here, minus right here. But right now, we can apply Lambert W function. So let's do this. So as a result, we have Lambert W function of minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x. Really great. And don't forget about right side. So we need to apply Lambert W function on the right side as well. So minus nature log 4 over over 2. Really great. Minus natural log x, this is our a, for example. Minus natural log x, this is also a. So we have a times e to the power a, lambda w function of this expression, equal to only, only our a. So on the left side, we have only minus natural log x. And on the right side, we have lambda w function of minus natural log 4 over, over 2. Right now, let's try to find our x from here. Let's try to do this. We have natural log x. So at this uh, in this uh, moment, in this place, we can easily find our x. First of all, let's multiply both sides by uh, by minus 1. We can easily do this. So when we multiply both sides by minus 1, right here we don't have negative sign. Then, yeah, we have only natural log x. But we have on the right side minus Lambert W function of minus natural log 4 over natural log 4 over 2. Yeah, really great. And the last step right here, let's write base of E on both sides. A tricky move. We're going to write base of E on the left side. So E to the power this nature log X. And on the right side, we have E to the power minus Lambert W function of minus nature log 4 over, over 2. Really great. And E to the power nature log X. Let's look closely right here. E to the power nature log X equal to equal to X. So on the on the left side, we have only our X. And on the right side, we have e to the power, e to the power minus lambda w function of minus nature log 4, minus nature log 4 over over 2. And you can also use another interpretation. You can easily write it in our denominator. So as a result, you will have 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log 4 over over 2. And it looks like this is our answer to this question. But don't forget about one really important moment. This is our answer when x is positive, but you need to solve another question when x is when x is negative, okay? x is less than 0. So when x is less than 0, you will have nature log of minus x and absolutely the same algorithm. This is like a quick, uh, your quick uh, homework, because uh, we will have absolutely the same thing and you can easily practice your Lambert W Function. Of course, I'm going to write full answer right now, but I'm going to uh, leave you this uh, moment when you solve this question, when you f when you try to solve it when x is negative. When x is positive, here is a, a, a solution. When x is negative, here is uh, exactly the same solution, but with the uh, sometimes negative, sometimes positive, exactly the same algorithm, exactly the same and uh, the same principle. So when you solve it, you will have a completely the same expression, I guess, right here only minus sign and right here plus sign. But here is the key moment right now, because then you will have mm, your answer with both cases, Lambert W function. And you know, this Lambert W function, you know, uh, so our answer, this Lambert W function has a lot of indices. So when x is positive, you will have this answer, e to the power Lambert W function with indice n of minus nature log 4 over minus natural log 4 over 2. And you will have absolutely the same thing when you will have maybe positive sign right here or right here negative. I don't know exactly, but you can easily solve this question like that. And when you have this type of answer, you can also plug in this question or uh, plug in this expression on your internet library and you will get uh, approximately answer. Here you can see it. I find it for you. X approximately equal to minus 0 0.641. This is our answer according to this according to this expression yeah so you can easily check it you can easily you can easily prove it you can easily practice your 
lambda w function which is also which is also really great so right now, right now we can see a graph you can see this point of intersection you can see this uh, from geometric perspective which is also really great because everyone know about x squared this is our uh, all known function something like that everyone know about 4 to the x i don't know exactly where do this function intersect maybe right here maybe not right here it looks like right here we also have a point of intersection i'm not sure i hope you see the right now the the graph because uh, i can easily fill this function i don't know maybe this function intersect right here at this point but it looks like we have only one point of intersection and of course you can see this uh, graph right now like for better understanding this question so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write your response down into the comment section write your notes about this question down into the comment section it's also really interesting to read about it thank you for your time thank you for your support i really appreciate it it's really interesting it's really important for me to, to make a new content i really hope you enjoy it i really appreciate your support your comment your answer your notes about this challenge about my channel overall and thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day